Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today it's feeding day and we've got a rescue coming as well. So I do have a customer in today, um, they want to have a little bit more practice feeding the snake and stuff like that before they take it home. So I'll be doing a little bit more talking towards them than on the camera but I'll be filming the whole thing. Um, so we're going to crack on, I'm just defrosting the food now, uh, we'll feed their snake first and I can go around and do all the rest of them and then when the dragon comes we can get the dragon set up and then that's us done for the day. So, um, I'm just waiting for it to frost so please look, scroll, comment, share, ring the bell for me and let's dive on and see if this customer can feed the snake. Okay, so what we've got to try and do, we've got to try and get the snake, we've got to find out where he is first. He's in one of the hides. It, oh, it helps if I'm not blurred. Oh, oh, he's had it. Put the head in the hole and he's had it straight away because that is making sure it's nice and warm. As soon as, we, as soon as it's nice and warm, he knows it's food, he's going to take it straight away. So I'm going to just lift it up a little bit so you can have a little look. There he is, he's all wrapped up in it. I thought he was in there. Yeah, so he's a really good feeder. Fed straight away. He's only been here a couple of days, so that's really good. So I think he's going to make a good little snake for you. I did some testing with him as well. He's nice and tame. Um, we did the head testing and stuff like that. So I think he's going to be a really, really good snake for you. Since that one was so quick and we didn't really get to see much because he was in the eye, we're going to do one more. So we're going to do the uh, dwarf retic because he um, he's going to be a good wrap round and he's going to do a good strike and he's out and about for us. Okay, girls. So this one is going to do us a good strike this time. He's nice and hungry, he's been sat in his water while waiting for us to go. Okay, come on everybody, what's this? Oh, oh see, he's wrapping round. That's because he doesn't want it to get away, because he thinks it's alive. So we can give it a little wiggle, and he thinks, oh, oh, it's trying to get away, it's trying to get away, and he holds on even tighter. And then he'll slowly, once he thinks he's, he's, uh, he's killed it, he will then eat it head first. So he goes all right, finds the head, and then he eats it head first, and all the way down in one big bite. Mm. Yeah, well, one, we're doing one big, one guy. Yeah, one big bite he has it. So he'll have a nice big belly now, and we feed him once a week, okay? So pick a nice day, which is gonna be the easiest day for you to do it, and you feed him once a week, and, a good, and then what if you do, if you take pictures of him when he's in your hands, Send it to me and I can judge the size of the snake and tell you if you need to upgrade the size and stuff like that. I can guide you all the way through it, okay? Lovely job. Well, there we go, absolutely perfect. I think that went really well. Both of them, the first one, he didn't really feed properly. Uh, he whacked it in the, in the, dragged it in, so we couldn't really see anything. And then he dropped it and came back out. I've just done a re-strike on him though. There he is, so he's taking it now. So I'm happy with that. And uh, she's already at hers, already at it. So that was perfect. See, she's really good because she's so brave. Oh, nice big yawn. Um, she can be a good example of striking and wrapping around. It's an extreme version of what that one's gonna do. She's never gonna wrap around as many times as that one just because she's tw twice as long as Snake. Um, but very, very cool. They seem to be very happy with it. So uh, he'll be going to her forever home as long as he eats that and has a poop. One more mouse ready to feed, which is for the pies, pastel pied. Uh, we'll do him first, and then we'll go back through. I've got to defrost the rest of them, because what I did, I defrosted three different sizes, so we had opportunity to feed three different snakes, just in case anyone didn't feed, because I wanted to make sure they got to feed somebody today. So we got that one ready. The rest, I'm going to have to defrost them and wait a couple of minutes for it to do, but it must be seconds. For you. Little buddy, you in there? Oh, 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 he's, come on. He struck at the, well, it wasn't, the mouse wasn't even there and he struck. Come out. Come on, little buddy. Ooh. Is it a bit noisy? Has it been a bit noisy, is it, my friend? Ah, he's in shed. Let me warm it up a little bit more. Come on, buddy. There we go. I knew he was going to feed even though he was in the shed. 
he's that type of royal. He loves his food, but he just had, he couldn't see it, so I had to make sure it was nice and hot so he could see it. But there you go, he'll slowly lower himself down. There we go, lovely job. It's about ready to feed, and the bearded dragon looks like he's turning up. So I'll have to sort that tank out quickly, uh, get him put in, and then uh, we can come back and do the feeding. I have to be quick though, don't want the mouse to go funny. So there he is, so he's a rescue rehome basically. They can't look after him anymore, so they've asked me to bring him. And if you look, there's quite a big lump on his back. They've said that they have took him to the vets for him and it's just curvature of the spine. Uh, he's had it since he was a baby. Um, so they promised me it's nothing to worry about. And I have felt it, 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 is, a, it is his spine. Um, the vet said as long as he's doing everything he should and it's not bothering him, it should be fine. So, so we've got, you got a buddy, mate? You got a buddy? Woo! So let's get him down so you can have a proper look at him. Come here, buddy. Oh, come on. Got, he got long claws and he keeps spiking me. Come on, buddy, let go. Can you stay there? What? We've got long claws, haven't we, mate? Hey? So here he is. He's a lovely bearded dragon. Look quite nice markings. Lovely golden eyes, but he does have that lump on his back, that's all. But you can tell it's not a growth or anything like that. You can actually feel it's part of his spine. So he does have curvature of the spine, but uh, he should be fine. He's, he's a big boy now. He's done all his growing. It hasn't ruined in any of his legs or anything like that. So I can't see him being much of a problem. So let's see if we can get him in. So we have got some extra bits of bobs for him. So there you go, but he got a nice basking rock there. And then they brought this branch because it's his favorite branch. So I can put that in there as well for him. Okay, you can see where he lies on it. It's the only clean bit. <laughs> so he's gonna be chilling in there. And then as soon as I get him set up, oh, sorry, as soon as he gets through quarantine, we can put substrate in there, get it all set up nice, and he can find himself a forever home. I will double check on that and see if I can get anyone to come and have a look at it for me. Okay, buddy, all I've got to do is put water in there. So I'll do that and we'll go around and we'll feed everybody, okay? Good boy, eh? There we go. Okay, so we're back ready. We've got Mr. Oh, European Eyed Lizard. Oh, he's off. Mr. Spiky Tail. Oh. I see a tail. Where does that go? Woohoo! Cooey! Oh, it's reversing. Are you coming? Is he really underneath? He is, he's right underneath. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 there he is, there he is. Ooh. He's come up there now. He was down there. I told you, he's done all burrows, all underneath here. Wait, wait, there you go. You got it? So you got an upper size, these are fuzzies. Yeah, a bit bigger for you. Another one? Good boy. Okay. No need to be scared, you silly Billy. Leave you to it then. Oh, we'll go to the next one. I got a rat fuzzy for you. Oh, oh, here she comes. You got it, you got it. Oh, no, don't fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out. Where's he going? What are you doing, you silly snake? You going back in? There you go. Try right, Mr. Samurai Blue, where you can look. 
If you look, it looks like a bomb's gone off in there. There's loads of craters. It's where he's been living in these holes and he's moving to different ones all the time. Come on, buddy. Yummy, yummy, mousy, doo doo doo. Yummy, mousy. No? Come on, buddy. No, maybe tomorrow. Oh no, the uh, next week. Is that it? I tried him one more time without the camera on. I put it at the corner of his mouth and he's bit it. Fantastic, fantastic, first feed. Call me Mellow Yellow. It's the yellow Batman frog's time. Can I get a better angle? Ooh. Come on. Hmm. She's got it. What I did, I, had to, I have to go right in this corner here, so I can't really do it. With, I have to use the camera hand. So I've managed to get her to eat it. Lovely job. So that's both Pac Man frogs eating great. So where's our little cat? Oh. Gully King Snake, where's he gone? You in there? You in here? Where are you, buddy? Hmm. No? Is he under that there, is he? Oh, yeah, that might be a snake. That might be a snake under the tissue. Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah. Lovely job. <laughs> Super fly. Well, it was a male, but I've actually sexed it, and it's actually a female. Um... I've left the lights off today so he might feel a little bit safer. And his first time he's been in this hide, so he might actually feed for us today. If he's feeling brave. Can't really see much movement. Come on, have a look, buddy. This should be warm. Oh, it needs a bit warm. So we're getting no real movement out of him. Hey. Right, we'll leave it here for him. If he wants it, you can have it. See if uh, Pinstripe wants to eat. Doesn't seem very keen. Is it nice and warm? It's still cold. Try again with it being nice and warm. No, not today by the looks of it. I'll leave it there for her. Off in dragon time. It looks like she's knocked her nose. She had a bit of a scab on there. She's knocked the scab off by the looks of it. So hopefully I'm going to get some uh, tramadine, give her a little wipe over that so that kills any bugs. And hopefully it's going to heal up nice. Thing is, sometimes she just smashes her face into stuff. That's why I keep the glass so dirty so she can see it's there. Um, let's see if she's hungry. You hungry, darling? Because you know he's playing you up, eh? Okay, we'll leave it then today. Thing might be a vet jobby eventually. Eat the piranha. And it's gone. <laughs> Snaps, you hungry, bud? Oh, yeah. Boom. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hungry? Mm. 
you missed. Try again. And again, missed again. There you go, you got him. Good boy. Okay, you got a buddy underneath you now. Yes. Someone's hungry. We'll open it up. Oh, ha, ha. I'm just drinking it in that water. Okay. Not me, not me. Whoa. Okay, she's got it. But she's hanging out the tank. Hey, beautiful. Oh, she's tight on that branch. Okay, move the branch. Ah, lovely job. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Enjoy your dinner, darling. Enjoy your dinner. Hey everybody, customer training, uh, rescue beardy, well, rescue slash rehome, and uh, feeding everybody. So, everybody fed apart from the two new new royals, uh, the older ones, we think they're bigger snakes. They might take more while for them to get settled and stuff like that. I might have to rearrange the tanks, get more hides, uh, maybe even reduce them to smaller tanks as well. So, I'll have a think about that, let me know. Uh, I'll let you know what I, what I decide. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch a new video, it should be on there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help us and support us, there's links in the description below. We can get yourself some Snake Island merch or you can join the tribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the future. Bye.